These are great TV shows that completely fell off by the last season. Let's start with the obvious one in Game of Thrones, a show that went from one of the best things on television to one of the worst with season 8. And the saddest part is, I actually think most of the plot points besides how they dealt with the Night King would have actually worked out just fine if they just took like an extra two seasons to flesh out this story. But instead, Dumb and Dumber here were just too good for Game of Thrones and wanted to move on to bigger and better things and just rush this out and lost all their other opportunities because of how bad this was. I'm sorry, but every season of The Office after Michael Scott left just kept getting progressively worse and worse. We went through that weird phase of trying to find different bosses to replace Michael, like we had James Spader, Will Ferrell, ultimately Nelly. And there's still some funny moments within the seasons without Michael, but it's just nowhere close to those first couple seasons. Outer Banks might have had one of the biggest fall-offs in popularity I've ever seen, like the show was never a masterpiece or anything. But the first two seasons were such dumb fun, and they were honestly cultural phenomenons, like you could not go anywhere on Instagram or TikTok without seeing videos about this. But I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even watch season 3, and it seems like a lot of people didn't either, because it completely fell off in popularity. The first three seasons of Arrested Development might just be the funniest TV show ever created. Then Netflix stepped in to kind of soft reboot this show and continue it, and I cannot get through these Netflix seasons as hard as I try so many times, they're just not funny. I'm not gonna lie, The Witcher might have had the hardest fall off in television show history. The first season was a great adaptation of the book, seemed like we were going to have an amazing new fantasy show. Then the show started to drift away from the source material in season 2 a little bit. Then before season 3, the producer of the show just came out and blamed young American audiences saying that they had to dumb down the show for us to enjoy it pretty much, that's why they went away from the original story. And yeah, season 3 ended up with a 19% audience score and now we know Henry Cavill is leaving the role of Geralt and Liam Hemsworth is stepping in and this is only going to go down from here. I personally can't speak on The Walking Dead, but basically every comment in the last part was saying this, so I'm gonna have to mention it. Well, I don't think The Mandalorian Season 3 is like a complete disaster in any way, it is nowhere close to those first two seasons. We should have known this was off to a bad start when they reunited Din and Grogu in the Book of Boba Fett, but like them being together in this season just completely undoes everything from Season 2 and it's pretty much pointless. And we just completely lost that kind of Monster of the Week bounty hunting weekly TV show that this used to be and it was just such a vibe back then and now it's just this bigger connecting thing and I don't want it. Community, another one of the funniest TV shows ever created in my opinion. But once the show got dropped by NBC and then picked up for a sixth season by Yahoo, it just completely lost most of the original charm of the series. 